it was actually Persona 5, but, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Going into it here, man. King DDD versus Yoshi. These cartoon characters we were talking about before. Loser's quarterfinal. So, yeah, uh, from this point on, every set is an elimination match. So that's a big deal there. Uh, your double elimination tournament is now made the second part here, man. Basically, you don't get another chance. This is it. Suarez mm -hmm. versus uh, Adamus. Uh, Suarez fell to MVD 3-0 a little bit earlier. Adamus actually fell to Ned. In, I think, it was it 2-0 with Pyramithra? I think it was 2-0. Yeah, it was 2-0 with the Pyramithra from Ned. So let's see how it goes. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Okay. Uh, so far, you have both these guys doing um, some battle here. And this is one of the more interesting things, right? Is It's the Gordo is a very, very big tool for DDD in general, right? Um, and I feel like just about every move from Yoshi just will clank with uh, Gordo without any repercussion. Like Nair alone, I think Nair is, is a huge problem. Uh, for DDD in general, not just Gordo. Oh, wow, got a mash right out of that and air dodge right onto the stage. Beautiful stuff. There we go. Oh my god, gonna catch him there. Charge that sucker, and he's gonna take him off of there. That covered most of the options too. It covered everything except for like roll left, so good stuff to Suarez. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, wow. Wow. Um, Yeah, not gonna be able to take the kill. Bo <laughs> just continues to pile on this damage, so putting on some punishment. And both these guys representing Tri-State. I know Suarez from Long Island, New York. Uh, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Adam Esk is from New Jersey, if I'm, yes. I'm, if I'm not right. Okay. Yep. Here we go. Wow, wow. up here, man. That, that buff was something super special for DDD a few patches ago. So, got to KO him off the side. Good stuff. Oh, I think he actually wanted the reverse inhale there and just uh, was not able to get it. So, that's a little unfortunate. But right now, man, yeah, Swar is doing a fantastic job piling on this damage. And that's what happens, man. Yoshi loves to eat floaty characters alive. And when you're a floaty character and you got a big body, it just it's a it's a nightmare. <laughs> it went, uh, you know, if you're going against the Yoshi. Yeah, so even even stocks right here, and wow, catching him really high. And I thought he might have died from the up air buff, you know. I thought straight up that might have been it, but Yoshi's a little bit heavy, and he died at properly. So good stuff to Suarez, uh, and especially applying that pressure. Those DDDs love to throw out those Gordos all the way out there, thinking they that they won't be challenged. But even still, the uh, drift was even solid for uh, Adamisk as well. So both these players are showing that they're character specialists for a reason. Mm -hmm. Ooh, got the drag down up air. Was not able to convert out of that. I think he might have wanted to get the um, the the up tilt, which is an incredible move for DDD. I think another one of the moves that actually got buffed recently. Um, ooh, that was scary. I like ooh. that down air as well to cover more space with the. Uh, but very good drift from uh, Adamus to avoid that. Look at these inhales, man. These inhales are on point. Like, I, there is not a DDD, I think, that does inhale the same way that Animus does. But, <laughs> unfortunately, going to lose that stock right there. Suarez taking a strong lead. But 112%, that could disappear very quickly. And Animus could even this up, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> right before her very eyes uh, in an instant. All right, trying to get it back here. Drag down into a follow-up, maybe. Uh, Yoshi's back here is a multi-purpose tool, man. It's so good. Uh, the third hit KO is a high percent, but as I'm praising Yoshi back here, that's a DDD back here. And he can, you know, the fact that he can jump five times, he can pressure with a lot of those. So good stuff to uh, Adamus bringing this the final stock. Mm -hmm. Oh, she tried to get the inhale there on the egg just to kind of shoot it back at him, allow him to also kind of land safely, not going to be able to find it. Oh, man. Oh, he was going for the down smash, looking for Suarez to just land uh, either at the ledge or just right on stage, but going to land right on top of that aerial. Again, you got to be wary of Yoshi's aerials in general. They're all super good, and uh, they're active, man. They are very active. Oh, that is true, man. This is it, man. Uh, we have Suarez applying this extra credit, man, trying to, like, just... Well, not extra credit, but rather just like this lead, extending this lead even further, trying to close it out. Wow, that drift from that, was that like a wave bounce Gordo, it looked like? Uh, uh, quite possibly. It helped him move a little bit better in the air, so uh, trying to avoid this pressure that Suarez is applying off stage. Mm -hmm. It is a relatively even game, though, despite all the pressure that Suarez has been putting down. He has been taking all the stocks first, which honestly is huge, but you've now got a half rage DDD, and DDD can hit like an absolute truck. Yeah, here oh, we big. go. Gets a grab. Yeah, big grab for sure. Oh, Woo! no way, dude. Looking to end it all with that one. Yeah, that back air not going to quite end it either. But, oh, God. Just Terrifying patience. spot here. Oh, my God, dude. The bravery. And the air dodge coming in clutch. Oh, oh my God, this could be egg. bad. Look, at Look oh. how big that egg is, dude. <laughs> Well, yeah, wow, man, that really came down to the wire. And uh, I think, like, 
I mean, Suarez has got really good timing on the uh, the ground pound anyway, able to close out that stock, um, guessing exactly when Adamus was going to pop out. But man, the fact that Adamus made that as close as it was had to have been nerve wracking. Yeah, down to the wire. Last hit here for this game one. And uh, man, even just dodging that killing up tilt was huge. So just like looking at this. And I think it's so crazy. Like, I, I still can't get over how we just commentated Sephiroth versus Snake, and now we're doing King DDD versus Yoshi, dude. <laughs> Hey man, it's the power of uh, of Sakurai and Smash Bros. That's that's what it all comes down to. Look at this. Oh, that was beautifully played, man. Just put on that little bit of extra damage just to ensure that the, it would definitely kill. I mean, I'm pretty sure it would have killed anyway, but you know, if you can get the little bit of extra percentage, why not? Yeah, Sakurai is the type of guy that releases Steve and Sephiroth back to back, or Piranha Plant and Joker back to back. <laughs> okay. All right, there we go, man. Uh, but yeah, loser's quarters, Suarez up a game, we're gonna see the counter pick coming out from uh, Adamus. It's gonna be, actually they're running it right back, so I won't be surprised if they're getting into it right now. Yeah, smart play, uh, it was a pretty, pretty even set, or even set, even game in general. Uh, again, kinda came down to the wire, could've been last person, or last big hit, really just ending that game. So, uh, I think it's a good pick, you know, try to, try to figure each other out, figure out each other's game plans at the moment. Uh, and honestly, PS2, just a pretty good stage to kinda get that going. Yeah, man, being from the East Coast, as Adamus is, man, I, I imagine he has a lot of experience in this Yoshi matchup. Uh, being from the Brawl days, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he faced off against Raptor a lot. From, also from Long Island, same region as Suarez, so let's see. Oh, the air dodge. No, okay, he's fine, he's fine. He's, yeah. he's DDD, he's got some jumps. <laughs> well, I think, I'm pretty sure I've heard uh, Long Island referred to as uh, the land of Yoshi once or twice. I mean... You mean Yoshi's Island? <laughs> Yoshi's Island, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I should just call him that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, not everybody's as creative, okay? <laughs> Yo, even Lass is on you in that. He's younger than you, bro. Come on. <laughs> I don't want to talk about the things that Lass uh, doesn't even understand, man. He's... <laughs> he's... 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 He's banned from Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. He's got you on the Yoshi's Island, though. Yeah, that's so right. here that's we fair. are. Go <laughs> All right, these eggs are coming into play with the lead. Really huge stuff. Yeah. Uh, Yoshi gets big bodies. Uh, it seems like a bad time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh! Oh, here we go. The eggs seem to be like really good for the Gordo, but unfortunately, doing it a little bit too early is that the hammer hasn't even come out yet. Oh, my oh. God, dude. That's the bad player check. That's what I call it. But <laughs> <laughs> No, dude, no, listen. It, it's not just bad players. That, that DDD dash attack really just catches people off guard sometimes. Some people just aren't <laughs> aware of how late it comes out and then how active it really is. And even like the soft hitbox or the, the weak hitbox can really still blow up stocks. Like, that, that thing is just, it's awkward. It's just really awkward. Wait, there's a last junior image. Never mind. Anyway, back to the match here. Um, <laughs> trying to cover that tech chase. Good stuff going on there. Woo! Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, trying to catch his landing right there with the up air. And this is actually really huge here as he tries to just close out this stock. Okay. Oh, wow. Another down beat. Oh. I mean, massive. Yeah. Oh, uh, and, and I, I, I'm one to talk about DDD dash attack when I'm. I, I, I easily go for Ganondorf up tilt all the time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, that move, you know, if you, if you put it out the right time, it's just people die, man. You're, you're aware, you're aware of it. But uh, right here, we're going to see if Adamus can find a way to try and even this up right now. Swore is doing a fantastic job, but again, like, with just with some of the kill power that DDD has, uh, you, you can never really consider yourself too safe. Oh, oh here we go. I'm tilted the down air. Huge. Man, it's looking rough for Adamus. Yeah, uh, definitely looking a lot worse than game one here. Oh, is that going to be the stock? No, it won't be. Going to be able to get out of it. Spits him out to the other side. Won't find the up air. Jeez. Here comes the pressure. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh my <laughs> God, dude. That's the, like, Rosa Luma shit, dude. <laughs> yeah, right? That could have been really insane. Uh, well, okay, he'll get the hammer hit on the side B there, but won't find the Gordo. Looking for that dash attack once again. And even though we're seeing 156, going to be able to blow up that stock. If, um... It, honestly, if Swords has got to close this stock out, like, immediately. Like, he has to make sure that he can put this pressure on to... Yep, there it is. Okay, that's going to kill him. Yeah, All right, good. Because, like, if, if, if Adamus started getting some hits down, honestly, one good opening could have been it. Yeah, back here three off the top. Gonna be massive right there. It's such a good move. 
And they, they did they did it wonders in this game, man. The first two can drag it down into a kill move, or just a third hit can just be a, an outright kill move. So here we are, man. Suarez going up 2-0, and I'm happy for him, man. This guy on the Twitch grind. Both of them, I'm sure, are streaming right now, by the way. But uh, Suarez uh, pushing really hard. I see him playing Mario Kart a lot, where he also mains Yoshi there. So uh, <laughs> there he is, getting hit by the dash attack. Honestly, it may as well be an even set after that one. All right. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, uh, that, that that is definitely for sure. But uh, I guess we're going to see where we're going here now. Um, they're, okay, they're still kind of going through some stages. I think they're going through counter picks and stuff like that. But yeah, Suarez playing this uh, masterfully. Uh, and you know what? Yeah, I think you kind of need to know how to play against DD. There's been um, there's been a few DDDs that have been popping up lately. Uh, Shoutouts to like, um, I mean, not that they're popping up, but you know, you see them a bit more. Uh, we got players like Narnia, Symphony. Um, obviously, Adamisk and, and a few others. So, like, I feel like you're gonna run into DDD more often than than you think. So, I feel like Swords has definitely gotten some good practice against that. But again, even if you're playing against DDD, it will not prepare you for Adamisk entirely, man. This guy has been playing this character, like you've said earlier, since the Brawl days, man. He's he's a different beast entirely. But Swords is doing a fantastic job of wrangling it in, and it looks like we're gonna be going the small battlefield for game three here. So, small PS2. Tri-State has some hard-hitting DDDs, man. They have, not only do they have Adamus, they have Riley and they have Bryce. So, man, they got Riley. the killer King DDDs, dude. Yeah, some Riley was, DDDs, uh, actually. Yeah, no, Riley was the other one I was trying to think of. Um, yeah, man, there's, there's, there's a lot of good DDDs, man. They're dedicated, they love their fat penguin with a hammer, and they're, they're gonna play it to death. <laughs> I'm so disappointed. <laughs> That character's fun. <laughs> Dude, I'm sorry, man. Listen, I, this is gonna be one thing that we agree on, but that character is fun. Like, I have so much fun when I play him. Just play your big cat and call it a day. But I can play a big cat and a big penguin. But what yeah, do you man, got? You guys are, a you big warlock? I, I don't even like Ganon, man. It's all it's all a scam. It's all, it's all oh, a scam. scam. It's my marketing boy. <laughs> I, I, I don't even like him. <laughs> Wait, SSB tax man says we forgot to talk about MK Leo's DDD. <laughs> oh, yeah, we, we, we forgot about the other top DDD player, MK Leo. Right, right, right. <laughs> Did he drop that game? <laughs> he got 100 subs, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I mean, yeah, so that's a W. <laughs> oh, man. All right, all right. So, yeah, it looks like we're going to be again going to see a small battlefield here. Which should be pretty good. Oh, we're seeing a switch from oh. Adamisk. From um, one king to another. Mm hmm. And it's not the king you're probably thinking of. Wait, is there another one in the game? I mean, technically King Koopa, you know, Bowser. Yeah, but like there's two with a name and two with it in the name, you know? Yeah, you know, but there's. I mean, we're all kings, right? Uh, uh, <laughs> I mean, I am. Mar Mario's, a, Mario's a short. Short King, you know? <laughs> Shout out to our short games. But anyway, uh, <laughs> let's, let's get into uh, our next game here. Small Battlefield. And uh, yeah, this could be uh, very, very interesting to see how this plays out, man. Uh, we're going to see King Ooh. K. Rule uh, with the DDD is awful tag. And I'm, I'm not sure how this is going to work out. I mean, obviously, King K. Rule's got that belly armor, uh, crown armor Ooh, as well. To kind of get through a lot of stuff here. And is a, a little bit heavier, too. Yeah, yeah, they're chucking items at each other, man. This is straight up... Super Smash Bros. That's what we're watching right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is kind of game. It's, it's, it's something special. Uh, dude, honestly, I'm just happy that King K. Rule's finally in this game, man. I, I feel like this character is long overdue. And the fact that we're getting it here in uh, Ultimate, despite how people might feel about it, I don't know. It just makes oh, me no. happy. Oh, he's, he needs to be in this game, man. He, I mean, it's, it's huge. I, I just beat uh, Donkey Kong Country 2 last week, bro. bro mm -hmm. And I beat one earlier this year. So, uh, big fan of the series. Uh, as someone who, like I said, big fan of it is I just played it just recently. <laughs> yeah. Oh, tried oh, to, gosh. I think, call out Suarez for, like, oh, doing, like, a jump God. aerial. I think he was expecting, like, the up air and wanted the down smash. Uh, maybe the down smash could have been a misinput. But either way, I'm uh, going to lose the stock. And not in a bad spot here right now. 110 could get a kill very soon. Yeah, this is really huge for Suarez. He's uh, two stocks away from being in top four here at the juice box. Oh! <laughs> He tried to get the counter to send Suarez out the other way and just was not able to convert for some reason. Okay. Getting these project- Oh! <laughs> Dude, I feel like uh, King K. Rule back here is just one of, like, the meatiest, like, options, like, in the entire <laughs> game. It just feels violent. It's about time we got another back air spike besides Lucas, man. It's about time. 
Uh, was there was no one else? Two. I think those are the only two back air spikes, yeah. Hmm. Meanwhile, Dog Kong's like... got three spikes with his like down B and his <laughs> side right? B and his forward oh, air and his down God. air. He's got four spikes, right? That's four spikes. Yeah, actually, uh, that, that is true, man. You know what? Hey, and he deserves it. He deserves it. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, taking the first stock off of uh, Suarez, now making it a two stock game. Uh, Adamus is definitely in this for sure, but this is going to be very tricky because it's like uh, Yoshi versus Big Bodies. So we've already seen what's done to DDD, which is his right. best character since Brawl. So, Yeah, uh, and I'm not even really sure. Like, um, like I'm sure Adamus can play King K. Rule. You know, he's, he's a fantastic player. He's been a fantastic player for a long time. But I feel like uh, I just have not seen uh, his King K. Rule at all. I know he does play Wario here and there, right? <laughs> Oh, I, I remember his Wario as well. Uh, these da these backers he's throwing out, man, they're they're absolutely huge. Uh, and Suarez is doing a really good job of like timing these. Oh wow, uh, good stuff right there with the the wake up counter, man. Mm -hmm. And what I love about Yoshi dude is when he like does like the his his command grab, the the eggs are so huge on these characters. Right, right, right. Uh, okay. Oh, oh there's, wow, wow. So right in there. Uh, I mean, 189, and again, Yoshi has some ridiculous kill power on some of these aerials. So, like, I'm actually not too surprised that he uh, he killed King K. Ruler. Oh! oh, he's hungry, dude. Yeah, going for that 360 no scope, you know. <laughs> oh, down air, massive, massive damage, man. Yoshi down air is mental damage. Yeah, it is. It's like what 30 percent? It's insane. Yeah, 33 into it combos into up air, so it's 50 percent from zero. Oh wait, okay, fine. <clears throat> All right, getting ever closer here to the very end of the match, man. Uh, Adamus needs to make some plays if he wants to go further. Yeah, okay. In a little bit of trouble here. Okay, forward air going to be able to land on the stage. 94% usually isn't too big of a problem for King K. Rool. Yep, he's going to be able to blow up that stock down throw into the up tilt. And there we go. Yep, nice little taunt. <laughs> the mash is not enough here. They got to take a ton of damage there. Oh, my God. I'm going for the sunny side up. <laughs> up tilt, up air, up B. <laughs> You know, what? actually, that's probably that's probably my favorite combo uh, nickname that you've come up with. Like, I I like I I remember when, uh, when you came up with Tiki Torch, but I think Sunny Side Ups is really really good. <laughs> I like it, man. I think it's a good one. Ooh. Okay, trying to go for a grab, trying to get some extended damage out there. Uh, not gonna be able to find it. Ugh! I know. I think like a lot of moves from Yoshi are gonna kill, like that one right there. And Animus is gonna be bounced out of the bracket at fifth place. Going down 3-0 to Suarez. Uh, hard fought, but Suarez has got a, uh, a different problem on their hands as they move on to loser semis. Yeah, man. Fifth place out of 512 over names such as, like, Yez and Meister and Shiny Mark, man. Mm -hmm. uh, very impressive showing here from Adamus, despite him, like, obviously, we only got to watch the loss. But think of all the sets he won to get to this point, to get to top six of this tournament. So, uh, impressive run. But we got Suarez, though. Shout out to Suarez in top four. 